For the sake of time, I'm going to start with an existing uh, project that I'm working on. So I'm going to come in and click on continue editing. For the sake of time, I'll cut this a little bit. And here we go. So here's our project. Adding media. When selecting the appropriate media, always consider what will enhance the story. Using additional media to tell a story can help you illustrate something literally or symbolically. It's a good idea to use literal imagery when describing something that is unfamiliar or foreign to your audience. A good example of when to use a symbolic meaning is when you're expressing an emotion or a feeling. In those situations, when you try to use literal imagery, it tends to fall flat. For example, if you needed to illustrate time passing, Showing footage of a clock on a wall, which is a very literal approach, doesn't convey as much as time-lapse footage of time moving very quickly. We Video also allows you to utilize media from your computer or from existing online repositories such as Flickr, Dropbox, Facebook, and Google Drive. When it comes to sequencing, which is how you arrange your clips, timeline or in your storyboard. Media assets can be arranged in any order, so feel free to present your content in a different order than they occurred in real life, especially if it helps tell the story better. One thing to consider is providing visuals of the environment is a good way to set the scene and help people connect to your story better. When it comes to editing, we video is a digital or not simply means that the software creates a visual representation of your footage or clips that you drag to your timeline and edit. By editing clips instead of raw footage, you have the freedom to start over again or create different videos using the exact same footage. When you only need a portion of the footage in a clip, you can trim the excess footage by dragging the borders of the clip inward from either side. Using transition and themes. In order to smooth out the appearance of your video, you can apply transitions between clips. This becomes especially helpful when you are combining footage from the same scene and your subject has moved or changed their position somewhat slightly. Transitions help to prevent what appears to be an abrupt shift in their position, which can be very distracting to your audience. As a rule of thumb, Go for subtlety with the transitions. For most situations, a fade or dissolve is the most appropriate choice. Only deviate if it adds something to the story. However, every clip does not require a transition. In fact, when changing between camera angles, you may prefer a quick change of perspective, which is called a jump cut. This is great for reactions or interview scenario. Now one cool thing about Wii Video is that it actually makes this whole process a lot simpler than having to manually do this. You can choose a theme and the theme is basically a collection of sounds, transitions, effects and it applies the whole theme all at once so if you just find the right theme you can kind of preview some different themes here and see which ones you like. Right now I'm, I'm checking out Jazz Club. Notice it puts a tent over my video and adds the music. I like it, I just say use this theme.